Greetings and welcome to yet another edition of STL Soccer Talk, the video edition. I'm Tom Timmerman. She's Beth O'Malley. We are coming to you uh, once again uh, from the Washington University Orthopedics High Performance Center, or WUPEC, here at uh, City Park. Uh, City has just finished its first practice of the week uh, as it gets ready for its first playoff game on Sunday at the unfortunate hour of uh, 9 p.m. Yeah. A lot was, of people not looking forward to that. Myself I was telling included. Tom I have to like manage my caffeine consumption very carefully so that I'm awake during the game but able to fall asleep afterward. It's yeah. going to be tricky. It will be. As we record this, we, we don't yet know who it's going to be, whether it's Kansas City or San Jose. But uh, for, in a lot of ways, what's important is not the opponent, but City itself, because they're coming off two less than stellar uh, efforts uh, yes. at Vancouver and then home against Seattle. Lost two, the results that cost them the chance to uh, finish third overall or to set the MLS record for points by an expansion team. So the question is going to be how they can restart um, for the playoffs on Sunday. Yeah, the practice today looked pretty lighthearted, actually. There was some scrimmaging and uh, players took some time after the main practice to do some drills, uh, but definitely not a uh, super high intensity didn't seem seemed pretty relaxed so we'll see how the players look when they get on the field on Sunday I'm sure they'll be watching the game tonight uh, with interest to see who they're actually going to play mm -hmm. but it was a noisier practice than normal today because they invited uh, some supporters on hand and so there were there were drums and trumpets and flags being waved so and that chanting was a, which chanting going on so it was, it was a it was a different uh, and that's probably a good way to start the week because for a team that has been kind of flat, that uh, you know every little ounce of energy uh, you can get, uh, manufactured or not, uh, is a good thing. So yeah, it'll be a challenge. One thing they'll have working in their favor is the team they play on Sunday will be playing its third game in eight days, uh, which is tough. Uh, City will have had the week off, and so we'll see how that uh, how that runs out. Does that them. mean there's extra pressure on the team on St. Louis? Basically, it's a must win game because you're playing an opponent who's tired if you can't win this game what are the chances for the second and third well certainly it's a game that they is in their best interest to win because then they have two games to win one mm -hmm. uh to get it and to reassert themselves against kansas city and that they will or have san jose. or san jose depending who it is um so yeah it's it, there there is a lot at stake uh for both teams, obviously, it's a best of three series, so you do have a little bit of wiggle room. Subsequent rounds will only be one game and one off. So with this one, you have, okay, you can have a bad game. But I think City really needs to have a good game after the Vancouver and the Seattle games and to get the momentum going again if you're going to make a playoff run. Definitely. So uh, we'll have more about all sorts of things on the podcast, the audio version of STL Soccer Talk. Uh, it's like the video edition, but there's no pictures. Um, there's stories all week as we build up uh, to uh, the historic first playoff game uh, in uh, St. Louis City's franchise history coming up uh, on Sunday. And um, support local journalism. Uh, subscribe to the Post-Dispatch for access to all sorts of uh, fascinating copy from uh, all of our fascinating staff. Uh, for Beth, I'm Tom. Uh, until next week, where who knows where we'll be, if we'll be here or back in if our studio in the is studio, the, the yeah. studio's done. They're probably hammering away Hopefully. right now. My neck's starting to hurt. You really? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh, for Allie behind the camera, uh, for until next week, be seeing you.